the white star becomes whiter and seems brighter. But this kind of whiteness is not his own whiteness, but the whiteness of the sword light brought by the sword that kills the gods. Six piercing sword lights lit up on the white star. The white star twisted more violently, and its shape continued to change. The rays became messy, and summer targets shot randomly in the starry sky. Lin Moyu knew very well that even if the other shore realm received this blow, he would definitely be injured, and the same was true for Bai Xing. After one sword strike, the skeleton king killed him. They waved their bone swords and kept slashing at the white star, as if they wanted to destroy the white star. The ray hit the skeleton king, and the hit part was annihilated on the spot. The skeleton king didn't care and continued to slash with his sword. Every second there were hundreds of thousands of swords, the swords turned into afterimages, and Bai Xing was cut into more and more twisted shapes. Only the last blow is left. The two original spells were activated together, which exerted great pressure on Lin Moyu. After launching two attacks in a row, it will not last long without replenishment. If it were placed in front of the God Lord, it might only be able to deliver one blow. Now he can take three shots in a row, which is pretty good. For the third blow, silently handed over the soul-killing sword. The Xingho tribe does not have souls, they have souls, which are in the stellar flames. Shrouded in flames, their souls were hidden from the eyes of the dead. However, Bai Xing has been locked by Lin Moyu's mark, and Lin Moyu can definitely use the soul-killing sword. In the soul world, the soul-killing sword disappears and reappears in the real world. Advertisement A galaxy of immortal law appears under Lin Moyu's feet. This is Lin Moyu's natal law and the strongest law. The rich power of death was injected into the soul-killing sword, and at the same time, hundreds of drops of colorful water and millions of power of faith also entered the soul-killing sword. The soul-killing sword sparkled and bloomed with dazzling light, as if it was about to regain its former glory. One can imagine how terrifying the soul-killing sword was in ancient times. In the past, its sect used the soul-killing sword to kill countless enemies silently. Tens of millions of kilometers away, Ching Fei and Shui Jilan exclaimed at the same time. Ching Fei said in shock, Why do I feel like my soul has been pricked by a needle? Shui Jilan said, Me too, it's really strange. Ching Fei looked in the direction of Lin Moyu. The distance was too far and her eyesight could not see clearly. She could only see a white star, which was constantly emitting terrifying light. Lin Moyu poured all the remaining soul power into it, making the power of the soul-killing sword reach its limit. Go for it. With a soft drink, the soul-killing sword disappeared. Lin Moyu's aura also dropped sharply at this moment, and he returned to the second level of the Divine Lord in an instant, returning to his original form. The World Tree constantly replenishes Lin Moyu's soul power. Bai Xing, who was undergoing the Skeleton King's crazy attack, suddenly paused and came to a standstill. Lin Moyu's expression changed and he turned around and left without thinking. At the same time, the warships tens of millions of kilometers away were activated again and dived into deep space as quickly as possible to get away. The white star exploded, and the space where it was located was shattered layer by layer. From surface space to the deepest space, no level is immune. The power and scope of the explosion were astonishing. The terrifying energy broke through the limit of the speed of light and traveled through space at an astonishing speed. In an instant, tens of millions of kilometers of starry sky became fragmented. On the main battlefield, the undead army collapsed collectively and no one survived. Advertisement They were swept away by the terrifying power, completely beyond the limit of what they could bear. The remaining star groups were also blown up on the spot, and all the stars collapsed collectively. The power of a star explosion is tens of thousands of times worse than that of a white star explosion. It is not at the same level at all. Lin Moyu activated a three-light talisman and moved away as fast as possible. In the blink of an eye, he was already hundreds of millions of kilometers away. The space behind him collapsed, and the power of the explosion rolled over. Lin Moyu was blown away by the terrifying force, purple light flashed on his body, and his new talent was activated. 
the warship that was sailing in deep space was blown away by an irresistible force and was blasted back from deep space. The battleship flew and collided uncontrollably in the starry sky, and even Ching Fei and others inside were also colliding uncontrollably. Lin Moyu couldn't help but feel nervous when he saw this scene. However, he felt that the auras of Ching Fei and Shui Jilan were still intact, and he breathed a sigh of relief. The power of the White Star's explosion wiped out a large swath of the starry sky, and a great war ended completely in its self-destruction. The undead army was reborn under the spell of the undead and returned to its original state in the blink of an eye. Lin Moyu also returned to the top with the help of new talent. However, Lin Moyu also has fears in his heart. No other side is easy to mess with, even those without wisdom are not easy to mess with. The explosion power of the White Star was so powerful that it really exceeded Lin Moyu's imagination. The battleship flew sideways for a while and finally stabilized. Lin Moyu came to the battleship in two steps, opened the door and asked, Are you okay, Zero? He knew that the two of them should be fine, but he still asked one more question. Ching Fei and Shui Jilan were still frightened, but they shook their heads to indicate that it was okay. They were frightened, but they were not injured at all. They were only hit a few times. As a small god, a few bumps are trivial. The battleship blocked all attacks for them. Lin Moyu glanced at the battleship, smiled bitterly, and wanted to repair it after returning. The battleship was seriously damaged and needed to be overhauled. You are here, don't come over yet. Advertisement Lin Moyu left an army of death dragon knights behind and asked them to protect them while he quickly returned to the battlefield. The starry sky is full of space cracks, and the power of the world is repairing them. The white star disappeared, leaving a ball of flame. The flame looked like an ordinary stellar fire, except that Lin Moyu saw a white light in its center. Being able to become a white star should not be an accident. It seems that in ancient times, he was also a white star, so he became a white star this time. There should have been more than one white star back then, but now there is only one left. Where have those white stars gone? Didn't you say that the Starfire clan can't be killed? Why is white star gone? There is also the Shingho tribe, which is known as 100 billion, but now there are less than 100,000 left. Where have those Shingho tribe gone? There must be a way to kill the Shingho tribe. They could be killed in ancient times, but why didn't they finish killing them and still leave these ones behind? Show mercy? How can there be mercy in race conflict 5.6? Is it the master's order? One thing is still unclear, and more questions arise. Lin Moyu had a vague feeling that the mysterious owner seemed to have left them behind on purpose. In the starry sky, balls of flames burned blazingly. These are the corpses of the Starfire tribe that are said to be unkillable. After a few years, they can turn into stars again and be resurrected. Lin Moyu began to experiment with them, starting with physical attacks. The skeleton king wields his bone sword and cannot destroy it. The bone sword passed through the flames, as if they were in different time and space, and could not hit at all. Then there is the power of law. The law of immortality surges, and the power of death envelopes the flames to destroy them. However, the flames were still burning brightly and unaffected by the power of death. Lin Moyu frowned and fell into deep thought. After the Starfire clan dies, the corpse left behind is not the real entity. Although it can be seen, it is actually somewhere between reality and reality. What you see is not what you get. Lin Moyu removed all defenses and reached out to touch the flames, but did not feel the slightest warmth. I tried to cover it with the skeleton hell, but the flames did not cause any real damage to the skeleton hell, and the skeleton hell could not lock it. When the previous white star exploded, the mark had disappeared, and the soul also lost its lock. Lin Moyu tried to use the explosive luck technique, but when it couldn't be locked, the explosive luck technique couldn't be used. If a star doesn't burn, a spark will last forever seems to be more than just a slogan. I don't know how they were killed in ancient times. There were once hundreds of billions of people, but now there are less than 100,000. 
more than 99% of them were dead. If they really couldn't be killed, how could those Xingho tribe members be dead? Lin Moyu is 100% sure that the Xingho tribe is not really invincible, but he is temporarily unable to kill them. In other words, I haven't found a way to really kill them yet. What makes him feel strange is why in ancient times, these 100,000 Starfire tribes were left behind and this space was sealed. The number of people from the Xingho clan who were killed from hundreds of billions to less than 100,000 shows that the human race was absolutely capable of destroying the Xingho clan at that time. But why should we let them go and keep them? What's the reason for this? Lin Moyu thought about the problem from a different angle. He no longer thought about how to kill the Starfire tribe, but instead thought about the reasons why the Starfire tribe was left behind. He compiled all the information he knew about the Spark Clan and checked the information recorded on the stone tablet again. Lin Moyu finally found a clue. It is said on the stone tablet that the God of Destiny saw a fragment of the future from the River of Destiny and someone will enter here. Advertisement Lin Moyu believes that Destiny Tianzuan not only sees some of the future here, but may also see more of the future. Lin Moyu has reason to suspect that it is with the help of the future seen seen by Destiny God that the mysterious master makes various arrangements. Leave some residual strength to the Starfire clan, waiting for your arrival. Lin Moyu thought about what happened in the soul battleship and the things left by the holy talisman Tianzuan. It seems that those heavenly lords also have some arrangements for the future. Moreover, this stone monument was obviously erected after the war. There should be something left here. Lin Moyu's heart moved, and the skeleton god general immediately dispersed and began to search in this world. Lin Moyu has always been in awe of the mysterious master from ancient times. Judging from the information currently known, the status of the mysterious master is very high, even higher than Tianzuan. And under him, there is a terrifying and powerful legion. This legion has many similarities with his undead legion. Lin Moyu even doubted whether the profession he changed and awakened came from the inheritance of the mysterious master. Even Tianzuan can leave this world and leave a legacy. There is no reason why the mysterious master can't do it. The fog was thick, and Lin Moyu became more and more curious. Hundreds of millions of skeleton gods will launch a blanket search for this world, and not a single clue can be missed. Among the battleships, Qing Fei and Shui Jilan didn't know what Lin Moyu was going to do. But they were very knowledgeable, Lin Moyu didn't say anything, and they didn't ask too many questions. They were saved because of the arrival of Lin Moyu. Looking at the dozen survivors in the battleship, they were all unconscious. Their lives were saved, but they didn't know whether they would wake up. Comparatively speaking, I am already considered lucky, so what else can I ask for? Advertisement In the battle just now, they had a narrow escape from death again. Their luck was already overwhelming, and now they would not ask for more. Lin Moyu disappeared, disappeared from their sight, and disappeared without a trace. They don't know where Lin Moyu has gone, but it doesn't matter. As long as the skeleton is still there, Lin Moyu is still there. Lin Moyu randomly chose a direction and moved forward quickly. With the blessing of the three light talisman, his speed was astonishingly fast. He wants to see how big this world is. The flame was left behind and disappeared from sight in a blink of an eye. The distance was too far for the fire to shine through, and the surrounding area became dark and silent again. The world of the Xingho tribe is larger than Lin Moyu expected, and is larger than any secret realm Lin Moyu has ever experienced. Obviously, after plundering the origin of the Spark World, they still left a wide space for their survival. Lin Moyu traveled hundreds of billions of kilometers and finally reached the edge of the Starfire Realm. A powerful invisible barrier blocks Lin Moyu's way. This is the World Barrier, also known as the World Barrier. It is so strong that even the Holy Lord cannot break it. Only those Supremes who have walked the Divine Path have the ability to break the World Barrier, and they must be powerful Supremes. Lin Moyu touched the Barrier of the World. This was once a world, a real world like the big world, not the small world. 
It's just that they are not as powerful as the big world, and they are eventually plundered and annexed by the big world. However, the human race still gave them enough space so that they could survive freely. At the same time, the big world also protected them to prevent them from being annexed by other worlds. It is hard to tell who is right and who is wrong, whether it is kindness or hatred. As a member of the big world, Lin Moyu does not distinguish between right and wrong. All he has to do is to protect the big world. For him, this is the most correct thing. What's out there? Lin Moyu muttered to himself. He stretched out his hand and pressed on the world barrier, trying to feel the outside world. Advertisement The barrier is opaque and cannot be seen with the naked eye. However, with his extremely keen soul, Lin Moyu still felt something. The barrier of the world seems to be constantly shaking, as if something 917 is hitting it. This collision continues, and the world's barriers are shaking. Other than that, Lin Moyu can't sense much. From this kind of information alone, unable to judge more, Lin Moyu could only let it go. Then he used a three-light talisman and walked in another direction. He measured the starry sky with his own steps and drew the outline of the Starfire Realm. Gradually, the size of the spark world took shape in Lin Moyu's mind. The spark realm is circular in shape, with a diameter of about 2 trillion kilometers. Compared to the secret realm dungeon, the spark realm is much larger. Even if there are 100 million skeleton generals scattered in this world, it will not be enough. Although Lin Moyu is not in a hurry, he doesn't want to waste too much time. He released all the skeleton god generals, a total of 500 million skeleton god generals, to search together. Finally, the skeleton god made a discovery. In the Starfire Realm, in addition to one white star, nearly 100,000 stars, and some planets exist. These planets look no different from ordinary planets, and according to the information in the steel, the Starfire family that has not become stars are just like planets. So Lin Moyu ignored them at first. When the Skull God General explored the Starfire Realm in every possible way, a topographic map formed in his mind. Lin Moyu suddenly discovered that the combination of the locations of these planets formed a rune. The planet was originally shrouded by many stars, and its position seemed a bit chaotic and irregular. Lin Moyu didn't notice this at first. Now that the map of the Spark Realm was basically constructed and the stars disappeared, Lin Moyu discovered that these planets actually formed a room with each other. It's not an ancient talisman, it's just an ordinary tribute. Lin Moyu relied on his knowledge of runes to quickly analyze the nature of this rune. This is a pointing rune. It has a very simple function and is used to guide the way. You can only know where it points specifically after activating the rune. Lin Moyu came to a planet, which was the starting point of the entire room. Injecting soul power into it, the planet was immediately lit up and sparkled in the starry sky. Really? Lin Moyu raised a smile, his judgment was correct, this was a room. Soul power continued to be injected, and the planet was completely activated. Then it spread outward, and a bright starlight belt appeared in the starry sky, connecting to the second planet. The second planet was also activated, and it continued to spread outward. The whole process was like an invisible hand drawing runes in the starry sky. Lin Moyu continues to inject soul power to connect these planets together. At the same time, a smile appeared in his eyes, and he began to understand somewhat about the arrangement of the mysterious master. God of Destiny heralded his arrival through the River of Destiny. The mysterious master planted a seal curse, which greatly reduced the strength of the Starfire clan, but it still retained a certain fighting strength. If someone comes here accidentally, they will be killed by the Starfire clan. If you want to kill all the Spark clan here, you need at least the strength of the other shore realm. If it's not the other side realm, then you need to have an endless army like yourself to do it. Then to discover the runes composed of planets, you need to look at them from a macro perspective. Advertisement Activating the runes also requires strong soul power. It is impossible for ordinary gods to do it, and it also requires the realm of the other side. Lin Moyu's heart tightened, and he felt the terror of the mysterious master. 
All the arrangements are interconnected. It seems that it is just for yourself, and it is useless for others to come in. This is a terrifying existence. Lin Moyu's awe of the mysterious master increased again. Being able to calculate this kind of thing feels like it has surpassed Tianzuan. Then let's see what you left behind. The planets were activated one by one, and hundreds of planets were smoothly connected according to specific conditions. Gradually, huge runes were formed. It uses the starry sky as cloth and soul power as ink, shining brightly in the starry sky. The moment the runes were formed, a bright white light shot out, turning into an avenue of stars. Lin Moyu stepped into it, and a huge force suddenly emerged from the avenue of stars, pushing him forward. Lin Moyu didn't make any resistance and just went with the flow. The avenue of stars penetrates the surface space and gradually sinks. Lin Moyu is on the avenue of stars and sinks with him. He entered the deep space, and Lin Moyu realized that he still underestimated this rune. This rune can actually take him into deep space, proving that it is not just a rune that guides the direction. Then, he realized something was wrong. No, the rune is correct. It refers to the rune in this direction. It is not the runes that break through the space, but the power left in the runes. It is the power of the mysterious master. This power is so strange, I didn't even notice it. Lin Moyu was slightly shocked. The mysterious master had obviously hidden power in the runes, and even he couldn't detect it. Advertisement From this, it can be seen that the power of the mysterious master is really terrifying. Lin Moyu found that he was accelerating. With his perception of space, he knew that he would soon reach the edge of the big world. The avenue of stars finally reaches the end, and the end is the world barrier. Deep space is not as quiet as the starry sky. There are countless streams of light dancing here, reflecting seemingly chaotic colors. The originally invisible world barrier was also reflected by the stream of light. The world barrier reflects all kinds of colors like glass, looking extremely dreamy. At the end of the avenue of stars, under the world barrier, there is a light group floating. No matter how chaotic the deep space is, it will never affect this light group. Lin Moyu had a feeling that although this light group seemed to be in deep space, it didn't seem to be here. There is a strong sense of tearing between the two. The stream of light in the deep space directly penetrates the light group without being hindered at all. Between reality and fiction. I understand, I understand, that's how it is. Lin Moyu realized that this must be the work of the mysterious owner. He placed what he left behind between reality and reality, so it was not affected by the outside world. This method reminded Lin Moyu of Xingho from the Xingho tribe. It is also between virtual and real, and is not affected by the outside world. Seeing this scene, Lin Moyu suddenly understood and knew how to completely kill the Starfire clan. It takes virtual power to kill them. I know, I know, but I don't have the ability to do it yet. In the light group, there are two boxes and a pearl. Box Lin Moyu has seen it. It is the kind of box sealed with ancient talismans. Advertisement Moreover, the ancient talismans sealed in each box are the same, and the method of opening them is also different. The key lies in the pearl. In ancient times, pearls were widely used for recording inheritance and information. Lin Moyu wants to know what message the mysterious owner left in the pearl. What kind of inheritance should it be? Tianzuan's inheritance can no longer be carried by ordinary pearls. Just like the jade tablets in use today, pearls in ancient times were also graded. The inheritance of the mysterious master cannot be carried by pearls of this grade. If it is truly inherited, it must at least be like the Yanjishong pearl left behind by Yun Furong. Lin Moyu tried to touch the light group. To his surprise, his hand reached into the light group without any obstruction and touched the box. The light group is between reality and reality, and Lin Moyu doesn't know how the mysterious master does it. He can become virtual when he wants, and real when he wants. That level of power is not something he can understand yet. Lin Moyu successfully took out the two ancient boxes, Wang Moheo, from the light group. 
Lin Moyu didn't bother to take a look and directly received them in the storage space. Anyway, he can't open it now, and it's useless to look at it, so he just keeps it out of sight and out of mind. There are four boxes lying there quietly in the storage space, one of which has been opened and three have not been opened. Finally, Lin Moyu touched the pearl, and the light group suddenly enlarged, shrouding Lin Moyu in it. The pearl burst into brilliant light, and a huge throne appeared in the light. The throne was shrouded in thick fog, making it difficult to see clearly. Lin Moyu instinctively felt that this throne was very exquisite and extremely precious. On the throne, behind the thick fog, there seemed to be a figure. Then, a voice came out, You are finally here. The voice was calm and cold, and through the fog, it was impossible to distinguish between men and women. Hearing the sound, Lin Moyu couldn't help but feel a little bit in his heart. The other party seemed to have known that he would come for a long time and had been waiting for him. The words you are finally here made Lin Moyu feel turbulent. Obviously, this mysterious master knew that he would come and had been waiting for him. Lin Moyu did not feel that there was any residual soul left on the pearl, which also meant that what was recorded in the pearl was only the image of the past. However, Lin Moyu is just guessing and cannot be completely sure. After all, this mysterious master's methods are too superb. Perhaps he used methods that he couldn't understand, leaving a trace of his consciousness behind. The mysterious master's voice sounded again, You don't have to guess, I didn't leave any soul behind. Lin Moyu's heart skipped a beat again. The other person could even guess what he was thinking. He couldn't help but be more in awe of this mysterious master. This mysterious existence forced him to feel this way. Lin Moyu didn't speak. If this was just an image, it would be meaningless for him to speak. There can be no question and answer dialogue between the two. The other party just wants to show him something, and he just needs to listen. The mysterious master's voice came out through the thick fog again, you don't need to speak, just listen and watch. Lin Moyu was speechless, should he do this? In this way, I look a little stupid, and everything in my mind will be guessed, which is not fun at all. More intense light erupted from the pearl, and the light group became more and more brilliant. It also turned from virtual to solid, blocking thousands of streams of light in the deep space. Everything became unreal, and the mysterious master became more and more mysterious. The mysterious master's voice sounded again, I know you want to repair the divine road, but I want to tell you that the divine road cannot be repaired. Another sentence that completely subverts Lin Moyu's worldview. Lin Moyu was completely shocked, and his heart was really turbulent. This mysterious master actually told himself that the divine path was irreparable. Lin Moyu roared in his heart, this is impossible. Advertisement Since ancient times, generations of saints of the human race have been working hard to repair the divine road. Not only the human race, but the saints of other races are also doing the same thing. The Supreme once told him that the divine path could be rebuilt. But he had to believe what the mysterious master said. Lin Moyu wanted to refute the other party, but the other party was just an image, and his refutation had nowhere to go. The mysterious master continued, You don't have to think about refuting me. In the big world, my words are the truth. The divine road cannot be repaired, it can only be built new. Lin Moyu was shocked. The sacred road cannot be repaired, but can it be built new? His ears stood up suddenly, dadge, and he listened carefully. If he guessed correctly, the mysterious master would tell him how to build a divine road. Yes, Lin Moyu guessed correctly, the mysterious master did tell him how to build a new divine path. Restoring the divine road is a dead end and has no way to go. Although it is very difficult to build a new divine road, there is at least a glimmer of hope. After finishing speaking, the pearl shattered in the image of the mysterious owner disappeared. At this moment, the avenue of stars disappeared, and Lin Moyu left the deep space and returned to the surface space. At this moment, Lin Moyu's eyes were slightly downcast, and his whole person exuded a depressing aura. His previous goal was to repair the divine road, but unexpectedly, this goal was completely subverted. Now he has a new goal. 
He kept thinking about the mysterious master's method of staying, and clenched his fists slightly. Okay, no matter how difficult it is, you have to do it. Only by building a new divine path and achieving supreme status can you have the opportunity to contact the great world literature. Lin Moyu established a new belief in his heart. Advertisement He then thought and figured out that now was at least better than before. I wanted to repair the divine road before, but I didn't even know how to repair it. Although it is now clear that the divine road cannot be repaired, at least we know the complete method of building a new divine road. In fact, it is a step further than before. The slight disappointment in Lin Moyu's eyes was replaced by greater hope, and the depressed atmosphere gradually disappeared. The changes in thoughts are so strange. When something you have always wanted to do is shattered, you will feel a great sense of loss, frustration, helplessness, and even collapse. But at this time, when something new appears and is more promising than before, the mood can quickly get out of the trough and move towards a new goal. It was during the ups and downs that Lin Moyu reestablished his goals. All the arrangements for this extremely mysterious existence are for two things. The first is to tell Lin Moyu that the divine road cannot be repaired and can only be built new. This matter is very important to Lin Moyu so that he will not take detours and go astray. The second thing is the real opportunity left for Lin Moyu. Lin Moyu's eyes swept across the Starfire Realm and whispered, From now on, there will be no Starfire Realm and no more Starfire Clan. His voice was extremely calm, yet full of murderous intent. His figure disappeared in the starry sky, and at the same time, all the skeleton generals also disappeared collectively. In the battleship, Ching Fei and Shui Jilan saw the skeleton god suddenly disappearing. Inexplicably, they were both a little nervous. Without the protection of the skeleton gods, they suddenly lost their sense of security and were a little worried about Lin Moyu. Shui Jilan said with worry, Senior Brother Lin, nothing will happen to him. Ching Fei shook his head, it should be fine. With his strength, it's impossible for anything to happen. Advertisement Although she didn't know the extent of Lin Moyu's strength, she felt that Lin Moyu would not be in danger. Although she has confidence in Lin Moyu, Ching Fei still has a little worry in her eyes. This worry did not disappear until Lin Moyu appeared outside the battleship a few minutes later. Shui Jilan said with surprise, Senior Brother Lin, it's great that you're okay. Lin Moyu smiled slightly, of course it's okay, it's time to leave. Ching Fei said, Senior Brother Lin found the exit? Lin Moyu nodded, I fell down. The battleship moved forward slowly in the starry sky. Although it was seriously damaged, there was still no problem with basic flight. Lin Moyu controlled the battleship and came to a ball of sparks. The crimson flame burned blazingly, and in the center of the flame, there was a flame as white as snow. This spark left by a white star is also the most special of all sparks. Lin Moyu guessed right. The mysterious master had the ability to kill the Starfire tribe, and these people were deliberately left behind by him. Back then, the mysterious master left behind these Xingho people. He not only used seals and curses, but also left behind a descendant. Compared to seals and curses, this backhand is the real killer weapon. It determines the life and death of the entire Starfire clan, and also determines the survival of the Starfire world. And this backhand can only be used correctly after Lin Moyu kills the White Star and obtains the image left by the mysterious owner. Lin Moyu used his finger as a pen and his soul as ink to draw a rune in the starry sky. The rune shimmered, flew into the sparks, and penetrated into the white flames in the center. The whole group of sparks suddenly roared, and the sparks expanded instantly, crossing hundreds of millions of miles, and swallowed up the entire spark in an instant. The spark world turned into a sea of fire, but strangely, Lin Moyu and others stood and scathed while standing in the flames. Ching Imo and Shui Jilan were shocked. This change in reality was completely beyond their ability to understand. Lin Moyu is much better than them and can understand better. The spark is empty and naturally cannot burn them. In the sea of fire, the sparks transformed by the people of the Xingho tribe exploded and joined in. 
The flames became more intense, and the entire Starfire realm roared and trembled. The Starfire realm began to shrink, shrinking very quickly, far exceeding the speed of light. This is the backup left behind by the mysterious master, the refining spark realm. Lin Moyu secretly thought in his heart, although he knew what was going on, he was still shocked when he saw it. The mysterious master used the original fire of the Xinghou clan to refine the entire King Xinghuasi. The means are superb and unparalleled. It was as if in his hands, the spark world was just a plaything that could be played with at will. The Starfire Realm was originally the home of the Starfire Clan, but they ended up using their own flames to refine the entire Starfire world. It is tantamount to playing with fire and burning yourself. Not only will you kill yourself, but your home will be burned down as well. The whole process was nakedly cruel. From then on, the Star Realm completely disappeared. Shuei Jilan suddenly trembled and her face turned pale. Senior Brother Lin, did you hear the screams? Ching Fei's expression was a little weird at the moment. I heard a lot of people screaming. Lin Moyu could naturally hear it. This was a scream from the Xingho tribe. It came from the soul and was naturally infiltrating. The screams were full of resentment, but there was no way to vent this resentment. Advertisement after all, it was their own flames that killed them. Just like suicide, the only one to blame is himself. Lin Moyu said, it's okay, if you don't want to hear it, then seal your soul. But it's good to listen to it. Listening to the soul's voice too much can improve the soul's tolerance. There are good and bad things in everything. Although the soul's screams are not pleasant to hear, hearing them too much can indeed improve the soul's endurance. The two of them also understood this and endured the discomfort and continued to listen to the screams. After the screams continued for a while, they gradually became fainter. The refining process is coming to an end and the entire spark world is collapsing at an alarming rate. The speed of exploration is far faster than the speed of light and the entire world is shrinking. Just half an hour later, the spark world collapsed completely, and the entire world shrank into a crystal the size of a fist, which fell into Lin Moyu's hands. The world changes, and the breath of the big world hits our faces. They left the spark world and returned to the big world. Lin Moyu looked at the world crystal in his hand. This was a gift left to him by the mysterious master, the essence refined from one world. Its function is very simple and can help Lin Moyu build a world of rules. To get to the sink from the other side, you need to build a world of rules. The strength of the world of rules determines the strength of the sink to a certain extent. They are both holy lords, but there is a big difference in strength and weakness. The combat power of the heavenly saint lord is far better than that of the killing saint lord. Among the saints, in addition to understanding the strength and weakness of the laws, we also need to look at the world of rules. The world crystal formed by using the essence of the spark realm can help Lin Moyu build a perfect world of rules. According to the mysterious master, the world of rules is divided into three levels, namely garbage, ordinary, and perfect. According to her, most of the holy lord's rule world is rubbish. The possibility of this kind of holy saint, that is, the path of perfection, to be promoted to the supreme being is very small. What he is talking about is that in ancient times, the era when the Holy Lord traveled everywhere. But now, Lin Moyu feels that there may not be a perfect saint. Advertisement The rule world of the heavenly saint is just ordinary stuff. You can imagine how high the vision of the mysterious owner is. Put the world crystal into your soul, the world tree will drop its branches to wrap it up, and the soul power will activate the world crystal. Although Lin Moyu has not yet become a saint, he already has the prototype of a world of rules. Using world crystals early can make the world of rules more perfect and help build a perfect world of rules. Lin Moyu knows very well that world crystallization is only a help. If you really want to build a perfect world of rules, you still need your own efforts. Only when everything is perfect can the world of rules be perfect. Everything complements each other. But if there is a little missing, it will not be perfect. At this point, the matter in the spark realm is considered real, but Lin Moyu has a strange feeling. 
he seemed to have become a pawn. Entering the spark realm was not accidental, but inevitable. It can only be said that the mysterious master is too terrifying, and even what happens a million years later is taken into account by him. The River of Destiny Now that I can see the River of Destiny, will there be more arrangements? Why can you see the long river of destiny and let the world get to where it is now? Is there some power that even you can't resist? Lin Moyu sighed softly and suppressed all his thoughts deep in his heart. This is not what he needs to consider now. What he really needs to do now is to build a new divine road and then walk through it. Zero, please give me flowers. He can't see such a distant future, and what happens next can only be taken one step at a time. Compared to endless calculations, Lin Moyu prefers to live in the present. Just like now, it's time for them to go back. Lin Moyu checked the direction and found that he was far away from the human star field. Fortunately, I haven't left the inner world yet and can still find my way back. Based on the orientation of distant stars, Lin Moyu found his location in the star map. Advertisement Their expressions became strange. Unfortunately, they were in the territory of the Bronze Lizard Clan. Lin Moyu said, there is good news and bad news. Which one do you want to hear first? Qin Fei and Shui Jilan looked at each other and said in unison, hear the bad news first. Lin Moyu nodded, okay, let me tell you the good news first. We are now back in the big world, and I have found my location and know the way back. Zero. The two of them were speechless for a while, obviously they wanted to hear bad news. Qin Fei asked, no news? Lin Moyu said, the bad news is that we are now in the hinterland of the Bronze Lizard Clan Star Field, and my warship has lost its ability to navigate deep space. The expressions of the two people suddenly changed. Shuizalan's face turned pale and she exclaimed, the Bronze Lizard Clan. Ching Fei's face was also ugly, and she gritted her teeth and said, This is really good bad news. The Bronze Lizard tribe and the human race also have a feud. They were also part of the invaders of the human race back then. Later, Xiao Jiantian counterattacked and killed them until they collapsed, and their original ancestral land was destroyed by the human race. The nearly extinct Bronze Lizard tribe fled to the stars and finally found a place to settle down again. Now they are strong again, but they have not yet returned to their former glory. It is not considered a strong clan, but it is much stronger than the smaller clans. The Bronze Lizard clan is much more low-key than powerful clans such as demons and golden eagles. There are occasional frictions with the human race, but not much. No matter what, the blood feud with the human race will always exist. If they seize the opportunity, they will not let it go. Especially now that he has entered their hinterland, the Tongxi clan will not let him go easily. Lin Moyu thought about the information about the Bronze Lizard clan and said, There seems to be another bad news here. Why? Any more bad news? Shui Jilan said, Senior Brother Lin, please stop joking and just say it all. Lin Moyu said, The Bronze Lizard clan seems to have formed an alliance with the Tianma clan. We may have to face not only the Bronze Lizard Clan. Ching Fei and Shui Jilan are at too low a level and don't know the general trend clearly. Lin Moyu knew, however, that since the human race had taken several actions, all races had been on the lookout for fear that the human race would take action against them. After all, almost all ethnic groups were involved in that incident. No matter which race the human race attacks, it is possible. And based on the fate of the three tribes that were wiped out and the three silver tribes, it can be inferred that the human race is ruthless. Even the Demon Clan and the Golden Eagle Clan have announced that they are joining forces. They have to join forces to have the confidence to deal with the human clan. Not to mention other weak races. The Bronze Lizard Tribe and the Pegasus Tribe have formed an alliance, and they are still looking for other races, hoping to form a larger group. Only in this way can it be possible to fight against the human race. This time Lin Moyu is trapped in the hinterland of the Bronze Lizard tribe, and it may not be easy to escape. Let's go first and see how the Bronze Lizards react. Lin Moyu controlled the battleship and flew towards the human star field. 
The damaged battleship cannot enter deep space, but it can still cross the stars and surface space, and the speed is not slow. If Ching Fei and others did not exist, Lin Moyu could directly use the three light talisman to return to the human race in a short time. The battleship sailed in the starry sky, passing through galaxies. The entire starry sky looked very quiet, and no one from the bronze lizard tribe was encountered. However, Lin Moyu knew that things were definitely not that simple. The bronze lizard clan was not a strong clan, but it was not weak either. The most basic defense system is still in place. Presumably they have been discovered, but the bronze lizards have not found them yet. It will take at least ten days and a half before he leaves the bronze lizard clan, and the bronze lizard clan is not in a hurry even if he wants to leave. Lin Moyu estimated that the bronze lizard tribe was discussing how to deal with him. That person from the other shore realm shouldn't take action. At most, he will send some gods over. Advertisement But if there is a fight, it's not necessarily a bad thing. With the intelligence methods of the human race, as long as there is some movement here, the saints will definitely know about it. Lin Moyu is not worried, he is confident in his own strength. Even if you wanted to kill him in the other side realm, it would not be an easy task. If there is a real fight, who will live and who will die, because you know. During this half day, Lin Moyu treated more than a dozen people who were unconscious. It's a pity that their souls were seriously injured. Although the power of life has the magical effect of healing the soul, it also takes time. Lin Moyu can feel that their souls are recovering, and it won't take a while before they truly wake up. At the same time, Lin Moyu also felt the changes in his soul world. The world crystal is rolled up by the world tree, blooming with shimmering light, and continuously releasing magical energy. These energies are absorbed by the world tree, tempered heavily, and then sent into the soul world. In just half a day, Lin Moyu felt that his soul world seemed to become more stable. This change is very slow, but I can't help but feel it if my soul is sharp enough. The world crystal contains the essence of the spark realm and contains extremely powerful power, which is more than enough proof to be used to build a rules world. And what Lin Moyu is using now is only one billionth of it, which is far from the time when it can really work. Soul looked at World Tree, you seem to have received a lot of benefits too. The soul feels that not only the soul world has become stronger, but also the world tree has become stronger during the tempering process. The world tree swayed slowly, looking very happy. It does also benefit. The power in the crystallization of the world is very helpful for his growth. Lin Moyu has not forgotten that the world tree is still in its infancy, just like a child in the human race. If it wants to thrive, it needs the most nutrients. The crystallization of the world is the best nourishment. Absorb as much as you can and grow up as soon as possible. Soul stretched out his little hand and patted the world tree a few times. The world tree seemed even happier, its hanging branches gently caressing Lin Moyu, looking extremely intimate. Advertisement Lin Moyu's soul began to draw runes, and the rune he drew was the one that activated the spark. This rune is weird. It feels to Lin Moyu that it is not a high-level rune, but a higher level than high-level runes. But it's not an ancient talisman, not as complicated as an ancient talisman. If it is an ancient talisman, Lin Moyu knows very well that with his current ability, he cannot draw it at all. In the mouth of the mysterious owner, it became known as the talisman of burning the world. The world burning talisman can activate the world burning fire, burn the world, and refine the entire world into world crystals. What the mysterious master left in the Xingho clan was the world burning fire, which was activated by Lin Moyu with the world burning talisman. But that is the power of the mysterious master, Lin Moyu. If you want to refine the fire of Brahma, you must first condense the fire, and then continuously feed it with soul power before it can take shape. And if you want to condense the fire, you need to practice the world-burning talisman to perfection. The soul draws the world-burning talisman again and again, and the world-burning talisman takes shape again and again, and then quickly collapses, unable to find fire seeds. Fire is not so easy to condense. 
Every time Lin Muyu draws the world-burning talisman, there will be a next time, and it will never be perfect. But Lin Muyu is not in a hurry. He is patient. If he fails, it will be nothing. Drawing the world-burning talisman consumes a lot of soul power. With the world tree here, the consumption of soul power is nothing. Lin Muyu has a unique advantage. He believes that it won't be long before he can condense the world-burning fire. When the time comes, the world-burning fire will be fed into the world-burning fire, and the world can be refined. Of course it cannot be a powerful world like the big world. Lin Moyu was thinking of the Tulu world, the soul world. This race of people has died, leaving a broken world. By refining it, you can also get world crystals, and it is also good to use it as a feed for the world tree. The soul is constantly drawing the world-burning talisman, while Lin Moyu himself is doing two things, chatting with Qinghua Shuizilin. Since the four-star region competition, they have not met each other again. Advertisement If Chu Xiong and Zhuang Bai hadn't asked for help this time, they didn't know how long they would have had to wait before they met. This is the case for cultivators. Once they set foot on the path, it is normal for them not to be seen again for hundreds or even thousands of years. Ching Fei and Shui Jilan talked about some things that happened after they broke up. They each returned to the Star Territory and entered the Divine City together a few years later. The four of them are constantly doing tasks in the outer area of the Divine City and accumulating merits for the Divine City. Although he has not yet broken through to the Supreme God, his foundation is getting stronger and stronger. They are not in a hurry, they all understand the principle of accumulation and success. Now the four of them are only half a step away from the God, and they will be able to break through in less than a year and a half. Lin Moyu used the explosive luck technique to check the fate of the two. It was found that both of them had pretty good luck, with their respective values around 80, which was good luck. Indeed, they also turned bad luck into good luck and accidentally entered the spark realm this time, but returned safely. After flying for a day on 4.2, the battleship slowly stopped. It was a little slower than I thought, but it's finally here. Lin Muyu's voice was calm and without any waves. About a million kilometers away from the battleship, an army appeared. The troops of the Bronze Lizard tribe formed an array and were ready to go. After the battleship stopped, troops of the Bronze Lizard tribe appeared in all directions, up, down, left, and behind. The Bronze Lizard tribe surrounded Lin Muyu's battleship and murderous intent spread in the starry sky. The army was large in number, as many as 100,000. A hundred thousand troops besieging a warship were obviously overqualified. But it can also reflect the importance they attach to the human race. Ching Fei and Shui Jilan showed no signs of nervousness at all, Shui Jilan said, I'm going to trouble senior brother Lin again. Lin Mo Yu smiled, it doesn't matter. Then his voice came out of the battleship, I give you two choices, one is to let us leave, the other is I will kill you. There was no emotion at all in Lin Mo Yu's voice. But his words were extremely domineering and did not save the bronze lizard clan any face. It seemed that he was not surrounded, but that he surrounded the bronze lizards. From the bronze lizard army, gods flew out one by one and shouted angrily at Lin Moyu, Human gods, get out! People of the bronze lizard tribe generally have bad tempers and very angry tempers, and they will fight and kill at every turn. They look like lizards, with long and flat mouths and a row of sharp fangs, making them look a bit ferocious. The body is covered with bronze scales, exuding yellow light, like gold. The bronze lizards like to use sticks as their favorite weapons, even their god is no exception. He shakes the huge stick in his hand as a threat when speaking. The one who came out to shout was a high-level god from the bronze lizard tribe. His words were not polite, and he did not take Lin Moyu seriously at all. He could feel that the human god in the battleship was only a second-level god. He is a high-level god, and there is no need to be polite to a second-level god. But Lin Moyu was even more rude than him. I'll give you three seconds to choose either get out of here or die. This sentence not only made the gods of the Bronze Lizard clan laugh angrily, but even the soldiers laughed out loud. 
They bared their teeth and grinned, their expressions even more ferocious. Are you humans so arrogant? The god of the bronze lizard clan roared. Along with his roar, several more gods flew out, with realms ranging from the third level to the sixth level. Twelve gods, with an army of one hundred thousand, surrounded Lin Moyu's battleship. Three seconds passed in the blink of an eye, and Lin Moyu's voice sounded again, You are uglier when you laugh than when you cry. The bronze lizard tribe is really not in line with the aesthetics of the human race. No matter what their expressions are, in the eyes of the human race, they are just like Tianchen. There are immortal flames beating in the starry sky. In an instant, the void changes, as if another world has arrived. Advertisement The bone hell appeared silently, covering tens of millions of kilometers of starry sky, enveloping all the bronze lizards. Lin Moyu's calm voice came out, and the three seconds were up. His words heralded the coming of death, and countless evil spirits from hell rushed out from the bone hell, turning into gods of death and pounced on the bronze lizard clan army. The flames of hell are boiling, like a volcano erupting, like a meteor shower falling. The river of hellfire flows in the hell of bones, the raging flames are burning, and under the flames is the river of blood where the blood gathers. What? Asshole. Ah. The Copper Lizard tribe's army reacted slowly and collided with the evil spirits of hell. The Bronze Lizard clan army collapsed instantly and was torn to pieces by the vicious spirits of hell. For a time, screams resounded through the starry sky, and the evil spirits of hell were like wolves and tigers gnawing at the Tongshi clan. The bronze armor that the bronze lizards are proud of is no better than tofu in front of the evil spirits of hell. The difference in strength is too great. The soldiers of the bronze lizard tribe are all just god kings. Even if they are combined together, they can only barely fight against the god king. As for the evil spirits in hell, each one is comparable to the seventh level god. Even the several gods in the bronze lizard clan are powerless when facing the vicious spirits of hell. They were surrounded by a large number of evil spirits from hell and were in a precarious situation. The only one who was better was the high-level god. For this reason, Lin Moyu asked more evil spirits from hell to greet him. It is impossible to survive. How long he can last depends on his ability. In Lin Moyu's opinion, a hundred thousand bronze lizard tribe troops, plus a dozen gods, are enough to give the bone hell a crack in the teeth. The battleship sets sail again. The outcome of this battle has been determined. There will be no second outcome. Lin Moyu thought in his mind, is the movement too small? Can the saints find anything unusual here? Advertisement Fu Xingzuin used a special method to cooperate with the human emperor network to monitor all movements inside and outside the human race. This method should be left over from ancient times. Many things that happen in the big world cannot be hidden from Xingzuin Fu. The Bronze Lizard Clan is not far away from the human race. Lin Moyu feels that it may not take long for Fu Xingzuin to get information about him. The battleship continued to move away, and in the blink of an eye, the battlefield was far behind. Lin Moyu was sitting in the battleship, drinking tea leisurely. The soul continues to learn to draw the world-burning talisman, gradually approaching perfection. Ching Fei asked, next time the Bronze Lizard Clan comes, there may be a stronger force zone. Lin Moyu said, it doesn't matter, I'm just a warning this time. I hope they can retreat and let us leave. If they keep stopping me, then I don't mind wandering around in their star territory for a while. What Lin Moyu said about playing is not a good thing. He said it in an understatement, but when it fell into the ears of the two of them, they could feel some murderous intent. The human race in the big world has been educated since childhood, and they all remember the hatred of the past. Killing aliens has been engraved in the bones and blood of the human race. Even a gentle-tempered woman like Shui Jilan has no objection to Lin Moyu's actions. In the eyes of most people, these aliens deserve to die. They once killed countless human beings and even ate countless human beings. This is a blood feud that will never be forgotten for generations to come, no matter how much revenge the human race takes. An hour later, the bone land disappeared from the starry sky. 
There was nothing left in the empty starry sky. There was no blood, no bones, and no trace of remains. The bone hell killed them and cleaned up the battlefield. The evil spirit of hell became stronger again, and the river of hellfire also became more powerful, flowing endlessly in the hell of bones. Because Ching Fei and others are here, Lin Moyu really doesn't plan to stay here for a long time. He just hopes to return to the human race as soon as possible and bring them back to Dio. Advertisement but if the Bronze Lizard Clan keeps stopping him, Lin Moyu doesn't mind leaving some good memories for the Bronze Lizard Clan. Lin Moyu looked through the information about the Bronze Lizard tribe in his memory and judged their behavior patterns. You can probably guess that these guys won't let you go easily. The intelligence of the Bronze Lizards is not very high, and their tempers are quite bad. Their ability to survive in the big world mainly relies on their own talents. The bronze lizards are born with strong combat power, and as long as they reach adulthood, they can reach the super god realm. Most of the bronze lizards can cultivate to the god king realm. If they cannot even reach the god king realm, they are truly at the bottom of the bronze lizard clan. The world is fair. The stronger the talent, the greater the restrictions. There are many god kings in the bronze lizard clan, but not too many gods, and even fewer in the other side. As for the saints, there are none at the moment. In fact, many races that rely on talent to survive have similar problems. They often start high but have a low upper limit. As for the human race, it often takes more than a hundred years for the human race to reach the supergod realm after they start practicing cultivation from birth. It can be said that there is no talent at all. However, the upper limit of the human race is very high and the number of saints is the largest among all races. 100,000 years ago, a race captured many humans and conducted research on their bloodline. But they didn't gain much. In Lin Moyu's view, the bronze lizards can only be regarded as a warrior race. If placed in ancient times, they would not even be considered cannon fodder. For such a race, the ancient sages of the human race were willing to give them an area to allow them to survive in peace, which was considered the greatest tolerance. If they were from another race, they would probably be killed directly. It's a pity that they didn't cherish it and eventually betrayed it. One day later, the battleship stopped again. Just as Lan Moyu thought, there is no such thing as retreating from the Bronze Lizard Clan. In their bones, fighting is the first element. If it weren't for the fact that the human race was too powerful, the Bronze Lizard Clan would have fought them long ago. In fact, for the past 100,000 years, the Bronze Lizard tribe has been constantly at war with surrounding smaller races. They lack intelligence and are warlike by nature. At the same time, the Bronze Lizards also have hatred for the human race flowing within their bodies. Xiao Zhantian counterattacked back then and almost beat them to annihilation. Lin Moyu no longer considers the possibility that the Bronze Lizard tribe will let him go. This possibility is no more than 10,000. Just one day later, the Bronze Lizards came again with murderous intent. The previous team could only be regarded as an appetizer. There were not many people coming this time, just over a hundred people, but they were all strong people. There are more than ten high-level gods alone. Two of them have reached the ninth level of gods. With the talents of the Bronze Lizards, they can be regarded as peak gods. But in Lin Moyu's opinion, he is worse than Zhu Chiwu back then. Lin Moyu sighed and looked at Ching Fei and Shui Jilan, it's rude to come and not return. After this battle, I plan to take a walk in the Bronze Lizard clan. Are the two junior sisters willing to accompany me? Shui Jilan said, everyone listens to senior brother Lin. On Qingfei Road, you can also see the scenery of the Bronze Lizard Tribe. The two of them were very cooperative with Lin Moyu's idea and agreed wholeheartedly. Waves of huge power came, and the god of the Bronze Lizard Clan waved his weapon and transformed countless sticks in the starry sky, trying to smash Lin Moyu and the battleship to pieces. Lin Moyu smiled slightly and pointed his finger towards the starry sky. The Death Dragon Knight Legion was dispatched, and the ruler of the Legion stood at the front, wielding his sword and smashing the Phantom of the Stick into pieces. Advertisement 
Immediately afterwards, the Death Dragon Knight rushed out frantically and pounced on each god. Lin Moyu directly summoned ten legions of Death Dragon Knights, millions of Death Dragon Knights, each with the seventh level combat power of the god, and the momentum was extremely mammoth. The Death Dragon Knights launched a charge one after another, and their speed instantly increased to the limit, far exceeding the speed of light, and they killed directly in front of the Bronze Lizard Clan God. The gods of the Bronze Lizard Tribe were shocked. They were obviously the ones who attacked Lin Moyu in a group, but why did it happen the other way around in the blink of an eye? They retreated wildly, and the Death Dragon Knight pursued them closely. Under the charge, the Death Dragon Knight instantly surpassed the Bronze Lizard Tribe God and surrounded them. The face of the God of the Bronze Lizard Clan was extremely ugly, and there was fear in his eyes. Why are there so many puppets? Everyone is equivalent to a high-level God, how can we fight? Suddenly someone reacted, I know who he is, it's him, it's Lin Moyu. As soon as the three words Lin Moyu came out, the expressions of all the deities changed. Of course they have heard of this name, because it is very familiar to them. In the past hundred years, if anyone is the most famous among the human race, it is Lin Moyu. What Lin Moyu did has spread throughout all ethnic groups and has almost become a myth. Everyone knows that Lin Moyu is very powerful, invincible in the same realm, and can even fight across borders. But very few people know how strong Lin Moyu is. Naturally, these gods of the Bronze Lizard tribe don't know, but now they have some ideas. Lin Moyu, who is only a second-level god, can summon millions of puppets of a high-level god. How can he fight this? Screams were heard, and one of the gods was already dead as soon as the two sides fought. Those gods who are only at the third or fourth level have no power to fight back when facing the Death Dragon Knight. Several peak gods swung their sticks and beat countless dragon knights into the air. With every stroke of the stick, hundreds of Death Dragon Knights were beaten to pieces. There is still a big gap between the seventh level god and the ninth level god. Advertisement even the ruler of the legion cannot fight against it. However, after the Death Dragon Knight was shattered into pieces, he resurrected in less than a second. The bronze lizards of the ninth level of gods were darting back and forth on the battlefield, rescuing their fellow tribesmen and pulling them behind them. Several high-level gods and bronze lizard warriors pulled their companions behind them, and they gathered in a circle to fight against Lin Moyu's Death Dragon Knight. The rulers of the legion waved their swords and charged in time and time again, but they were stubbornly blocked every time. The bronze lizards exuded bronze light all over their bodies, and the lights intertwined together, and a large golden ball appeared in the starry sky. The gods of the bronze lizard tribe formed a battle formation, and a huge golden lizard war king appeared in the void. Lin Moyu looked at it with a little disdain, is this summoning the ancestors? The golden lizard warrior was 10,000 meters high. He swung his huge club and swept across the starry sky, killing nearly 10,000 death dragon knights in an instant. The combat power of this golden lizard warrior is very close to the level of the other side, almost reaching the level of half a step to the other side. Lin Moyu flicked his finger, and the immortal flame exploded in the starry sky, splitting into five parts. The skeleton throne emerged, and five skeleton forests quickly came out. He is also the ninth level god, and the skeleton king is stronger than the bronze tribe. Five bone swords were swung at the same time to kill the god. The sword light lit up, and the golden lizard warrior was immediately swallowed up by the sword. The skeleton king, who was also 10,000 meters tall, rushed to follow him in two steps. In an instant, with thousands of swords, the golden lizard warrior was killed on the spot. The battle formation was broken, the face of the bronze lizard clan god lord changed drastically, and they themselves had no chance of survival. They completely underestimated Lin Moyu's fighting ability. The skeleton hell emerged again, and countless hellish evil spirits rushed out, preparing to eat. The aura of violence rose, and a god rushed out of the battle formation, preparing to self-destruct. Lin Moyu sneered disdainfully. No chance. With a click of your finger, red light envelopes the starry sky. Advertisement. 
White Star Spill, Curse of Time Time accelerates a thousand times, and all damage occurs in a short period of time. The soul was attacked, and the aura of self-destruction was immediately extinguished. The next second, a ten million meter large eye appeared in the starry sky. The big eyes stared indifferently, ready to launch a soul attack at any time. The damage of undead gaze may not be enough, but it is very effective when used to interrupt self-destruction and control the field. After doing this, Lin Moyu stopped. He knew that the battle was over from this moment. Unless these gods had some magic weapon that defied the heavens, they would not be able to survive. I don't know if the Bone Hell can be upgraded again after this game. Lin Moyu thought in his heart whether it will work or not depends on the results of the game. In the Divine City, Fu Xingzuwen received the latest news, Lin Xiaoyu appeared in the Bronze Lizard Clan Star City. Tian Xingzuwen showed joy on his face, he finally escaped from the hole in space. Zhao Li Zhao, is there anyone else with him? Xingzuwen Fu shook his head, there is no more specific news. Tian Xingzuwen said, the Bronze Lizard Clan is not far away, so let Lao Xia make a trip and bring Xiaoyu Lin back. The Bronze Lizard Clan is different from the Demon Clan. There is no Holy Lord in the clan, only the other side. Tian Xingzuwen is aware of Lin Muyu's strength and is not worried about Lin Muyu's safety. In the other side realm, it is very difficult to kill Lin Muyu. If not, Lin Muyu will kill you. There is no need to send out a large army this time, it is enough to kill the Holy Lord alone. Tian Xingzun said that he had already sent a message to Shashenjin and soon received a reply from Shashenjin and he took action immediately. Tian Xingzun said, okay, it's over. Xingzun Fu nodded, the cave of space appeared suddenly this time. After it lasted for a few days, it was reported that several people from the Temple of War entered it and did not come out again. This time, you can ask Xiaoyu Lin what is going on inside. It's not urgent. I'll ask you slowly when I get back.